Hickok 45. And if I had a pistol, I'd take care of that cowboy down there. <laughs> Along with everything else in the vicinity, right? And I do have a pistol. It's called the Rival. The Canic Rival. Jonic Rival. No, it's a Canic. That's what we call it, right? And uh, y'all asked for it. I, we, we, well, we looked at the TP9 original. We uh, looked at the uh, Mete uh, recently, actually. People started telling me, oh, you need to try the Rival. You need to try the Rival. And I wasn't even familiar with the Rival. And uh, lo and behold, it had been out for, uh, I don't know, a couple, three months. So I requested one from Bud's Gun Shop. And uh, here it is. I've been shooting it some. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool pistol. You were right. You were right. Uh, whoever told me I would like the trigger better on this, because you know the one complaint on the Mete is the uh, trigger breaking too far rearward for me. But this one breaks uh, in a good spot. Yeah, not a problem. And uh, plus, it's a nice trigger, as you know, right? So appreciate getting this from Bud's Gun Shop on loan. Okay, it's not mine. It goes back. Uh, and then, again, that's a beautiful thing to be able to borrow these from uh, Bud's Gun Shop. They couldn't care less what I think of it or you think of it, right? Well, I guess they, they hope they sell a few firearms, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They're in, the, in that business. But uh, so I'm going to give you uh, what I think about it and uh, any positives or negatives. And uh, we'll shoot it some. And uh, how's that sound? Glad you came out for this. And uh, then we also appreciate Federal Premium because... They're gonna feed it today, okay? They're gonna feed this baby, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna send some, a couple of rounds through it. Look at this. I've even put some in the bowl. All right, <laughs> and uh, I'll load this while I'm yakking, but because uh, I just have three mags, and uh, two came with the gun, the pistol, and I had one for my TP9. It seems to work. I actually have two from that. I don't know where the other one is, but uh, I've got three. So that, that beats two, right? Beach one, beach none. So uh, yeah, this good old federal. Appreciate the support from them and uh, uh, SDI.edu, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Uh, so uh, you either will see us uh, at the uh, SDI booth at the NRA meeting, or you already have. Hopefully, if you're going to Houston, right? <laughs> so uh, that's pretty cool. And as well as at the Silencer Central booth, uh, I think that was on Friday afternoon. So. so I mention that every Sunday in the Sunday shoot around, but we'll see you uh, maybe in Houston, or we have already seen you in Houston, depending on when we, we post this. So, got that one loaded back up, and appreciate SilencerCentral.com for uh, the help they they give us and uh, the suppressors, and uh, you can order one from them and have it on the way before you know it. So, all those folks, uh, great supporters of the channel, SDI.edu and uh, Federal and Silencer Central, Buzz Gun Shop, you know, Tylen. My grips and uh, ballast off and you all so uh there are a lot of canic models out there there's another model of this the rival that's got some gold touches on it and everything and it's it's uh it's definitely a, i guess you'd say a competition uh, pistol this one is kind of a competition pistol as well it, it could do double duty it could be uh uh you know a defensive pistol as well the only the reason i say maybe i'm a little hesitant is uh, the trigger is nice it's very nice and it's what about four pounds it's it's kind of a light trigger some people would not want a trigger this light on a defensive pistol some experts would not want you to have a pistol with this light a trigger for defensive work okay defensive carry all right but you know there's different schools of thought on that uh everybody's to decide for themselves you have to know your limitations, and it's not necessarily a limitation. It's a, an issue dealing with stress and that kind of thing, what kind of trigger that is best. But, but anyway, it's a pretty nice trigger, it really is. And uh, it breaks, uh, it's, it's a flat trigger. Look at, look at the reset on this thing, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna click it. Look at it, I mean, it barely moves. So it's great competition trigger for certain. Okay, can I shoot it again? I'll just use this mag. I think that's the, no, that's the 18 rounder. That's the, uh, 
the uh, rival mag. So let's, let's shoot a little bit more. I put the holster on. This comes with it. Usually the holsters that come with the firearm are pretty funky, you know. This one's not bad. It's not bad. Let's put it in that holster. And uh, let's just, let's pretend we're in competition. How's that? I'm in competition with that two liter right there. Ooh. <laughs> let's put him back in the holster. Oh, let's shoot him again. He's on the move. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to take a break from shooting those arms when I saw that two liter there. And these pots. Yeah. Woo. Pretty nice. How about this target? I've got a bullet left, I think. I was right. I had a bullet left. But guess what? I'm going to do a speed reload. Look at that, how fast that was. Woo! Back in action. <laughs> Bowling pin. Lock in now. It's got a nice sight. It's just that it has to be on the target when you pull the trigger, or it doesn't do any good to have a nice sight. Let's look at a couple of things on it here. And uh, well, I'm slowly reloading these mags, because uh, I, I do want to shoot this thing a little bit. Uh, it's, it's fun to shoot. So uh, it's got ambi slide locks, and not only that, but you got slide locks on both sides. Yeah, really. I think the uh, mag release can be reversed. Uh, it's also adjustable, I believe, in terms of length. It protrudes a bit on the other side, as you'll see. And uh, you know, you got your picatinny rail. Uh, you have a lot of serrations. You notice that. That's one of the biggest differences, just the appearance between this and the Mate. And uh, I mean, you can grab this thing anywhere. There's an edge, there's an edge, <laughs> you know, all over the place. I typically don't use forward serrations, but I, some people do. But they're all over this, this pistol, that slide. I, as I understand, it's about the same size. I don't have the Mate now, but it's the same size, basically. The slides are the same weight, even. And uh, even this one with all the cuts on it, there's a lot of lightning cuts. In other words, as in lightning the slide, not being struck from the sky. Uh, you got holes in it, so it's, uh, you know, it's just a, it, I think it's a little thicker slide or something. Then they've got the lightning cuts to, to lighten that up. And maybe so you can get a better grasp on it as you're manipulating it uh, in competition. This pistol is the correct size for like all the, I think most of the popular uh, types of competition, USPSA and uh, what else, uh, IDPA and that sort of thing. So for like production class or whatever. And uh, the magazines, I think it fits in the box as they say. Uh, that's why one reason I believe they have different uh, mag pads that came with it, they're aluminum. I don't believe they had any uh, uh, capacity to the magazines, but they're just a little bit longer and help you grasp it a little bit better, especially if you put the uh, included magwell on, if you attach that. You know, so you got those options. Let me show you real quick. You've got, uh, like, uh, there we go. You got the, this big magwell you can screw on, no problem. It goes on pretty easily. And uh, you have, uh, let's see what else you like. Uh, yeah, here are the mag pads that are aluminum uh they add just a little bit of length to the uh, magazine easier to grasp it perhaps then you got all these uh these plates okay in case you're going to put on an optic there's i think five different ones there and you yeah, check the manual i'm not going to go through all that because you know me i'm not an optic guy on a handgun i don't know as much about them don't even care about them okay and uh but you this one is really set up for lots of different choices in that regard all right and uh and on this one that one of those plates even has a rear sight so you can co-witness as i understand uh but you have all kinds of options as far as a red dot that you can put on this and those are really popular okay i don't mean to diminish them because a lot of people really like them a lot of you really like them and they're used widely in competition i think now in uspsa maybe even IDPA, probably so. There are uh, classes for 
optics and non-optics or whatever, not sure. But uh, you got all those options with it. So it is uh, probably generally considered a competition pistol. And with that trigger especially, and the feel of it, you got different back straps. There were, you know, there's three back strap choices. And, uh, you know, it's just a good feeling gun. It really is. And I, I can see, I think what they tried to do was right out of the box, give you a pistol that you could just take to a match tomorrow. You got great sights, adjustable. You got a fiber optic up here. And, uh, you know, it's ready to go with uh, two 18 round mags. That's what came with it. And, you know, you got capacity, got a nice trigger. You got a fire that's ready to go. Let's shoot a little bit. I think I got the sights pretty much right on. Uh, we'll start with that big old Mr. Gong. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move down to the big old Mr. Buffalo. Uh, he doesn't want to fall, but I hit him. Let's try Mr. Graham, see if he'll fall. Yeah, Mr. A pig. <laughs> How about Mr. Pig in the middle? Yeah. How about that plate hanging over there, that black plate? There go. Yeah. Nice sight. One thing I like about that sight is uh, you got a wide notch, a narrow front sight. And if you want to do anything in any kind of precision sort of way that's uh, that's sweet and you got enough sight radius of what is about a five inch barrel so you can you can bear down if you are steady and you want to take your time and you can pick off you can pick off some things let me try that again so it's really nice it's great with that trigger because you can pop stuff up close <laughs> Or you can go over there and see if I can pick off that turkey on the top row. Uh, I think I hit him. Yeah. <laughs> and you can lay the lead on him. How about another turkey on the right? Yeah. How about a red plate on the left? It feels good. It'll even shoot with one hand. I'm really proud. <laughs> so this is one reason people get into competition. I mean, it is because it's so much fun. And if you have a pistol that has a good trigger, feels good, uh, it just uh, you know, it makes it more fun. And it's just fun. Just like out here plinking around, it's one reason people buy pistols like this, just for plinking. Yeah, whether they compete with them or not, because they're just fun. Uh, think about it. Whatever goes into a pistol that makes it uh, good for a competition probably is something that's going to make it fun for you and me to shoot as well. And I've shot competition, but uh, so, so I can relate to that. But it's uh, it makes it fun just to shoot on the range, uh, and it also could make it very effective as a like a home defense firearm. You know, so. Uh, Pretty cool. Now, what else? Uh, there's other things about it, probably. You got all these cool tools. Now, this gun is not loaded. I will load it, though, and we'll try it out. No, that's a, a tool, actually. So that's a sight tool. It has this uh, in the grip. Instead of a magazine with ammo, it's got little screws and different things for putting on other optics. Okay, so it's got all that. And it's a cool, I don't know, uh, does that look like a Glock? They put, no. Looks like another one of these miniature versions, doesn't it? And you got your back straps and all that kind of thing. So, you know, complete package, the holster, you know, comes in that. So, any manual, you know, that, that tells you about all those uh, plates, you know, for the optics. You got all the information you need there. Uh, you know, Canik is uh, really uh, up in the game. This, it's a nice pistol and apparently well made. It's hard to find anything too negative on these things. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what's negative. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't need, you know, I don't need all that busy, that busy a slide, I guess. Uh, as long as I've got some good serrations where I want to grab it, that's enough. You know, even the barrel, 
is uh, <laughs> it's got the serrations on it, so that's not a big deal though. And it breaks down easily. I click it. You uh, that different from a Glock and many other pistols like this. You just pull this down and you just bring it forward just a little bit and it comes straight up. All right. Now I've made the mistake a couple of times just from force of habit when I'm ready to put it back on. I start up here and it start and it gets hung up. So you, you got to put it on like it's supposed to be put on. You, you line up right there and then it just pops on there uh, very simply. Okay, even I can do it. Even a simple-minded person got to pull the trigger. All right, I believe. Yeah. Take the pressure off that. Move it forward just a little bit. Comes right off. Just well-made pistol. You can see with the field strip. Uh, yeah, not a lot of machine markings. They have kind of fluted the barrel. It carried away on that, didn't they? I don't know if that was to reduce weight or to help it cool off a little quicker or what. But, uh, you yeah, know, seems to be a well-made pistol. You know, they, they have a good reputation. There's no way around it. I think, I think they, I don't know if they dominate, but I think a lot of people use these in, in matches, in competition. And uh, they're becoming more and more popular. So... Oops, there I go. Almost did it. Oh boy. Because uh, I've done that a couple of times and, and it's a little problematic to get it off. Almost had to get the sledgehammer out. Now, very simple to uh, pick apart and put back together. So, beautiful re uh, reset on the trigger. Uh, I think about a four pound pull on it. It's just very nice, very crisp. Uh, you know, I like the flat face. And I don't know if you can see. I'll pull that back and let you look at it. Look how wide that trigger, that face is. That's a little different too. And yeah, I kind of like that. You yeah, know, kind of neat. It's got some serrations on it. Okay. I told you about everything else I think up here that I, I know about. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. I'll load one more mag. Uh, it sells for about, uh, what is it, uh, 680 or supposed to MSRP, I think. So, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 plus dollar ruse and uh, it could be yours and uh, this is i think this is their newest uh, offering in this <laughs> in this class like i say there's another version of it that's got some gold i don't know gold trigger or something or barrel some things like that on it but uh not a lot different but it's definitely more targeted to the competition circuit and i think this one kind of is too this is called the dark side okay so, made in Turkey, made in Turkey, uh, nice pistol, nice pistol. I'm glad that you all uh, ask me to, to look at it. Uh, I learn a lot from, from you all, sometimes what's out there, and, uh, and that, that's good, because you know, I enjoy shooting a muzzle-loading rifle or a double-action revolver, uh, but I also enjoy uh, Pistols like this, just just a lot of fun. Just like AR-15 or a, or a select fire firearm. Yeah, you know? just fun. Just fun to shoot anything that shoots well. And uh, the the things that make this a lot of fun to me is there's good sights. That narrow front sight, red dot, really jumps out at you. And then that trigger, you know, and it feels good. Yeah. What else do you need, right? <laughs> Ammo. <laughs> That's what you need. All right, so do I leave anything to shoot at? All right, a couple of University of Tennessee two liters. Let's just pop them. How about that? Okay. All right. Uh, but first, Mr. Cowboy needs another bullet. Sight's got to be on the target. Let's shoot a plate. How about those others? And how about that buffalo? I wonder if I shot him in the head if he would fall. I was trying to shoot him in the head. I don't know if that was what did it or not. Uh, I don't know. How about one of these turkeys on that row? Hmm. 
Oh okay, yeah, those are heavy. They don't want to fall. <laughs> I enjoy making Mr. Gong sing. I really do. So anyway, the Canic Rival, uh, you know, uh, S SFX, you know, rival uh, to complete the title and the numbers and all that and letters. Uh, you know, a, a nice pistol, nice pistol. I mean, whether you ever compete or not, this this might be something you would really enjoy shooting, owning, and shooting. Now, like I say, most firearms. Uh, I think I mentioned in a Sunday video. If you look at all the firearms you have probably half of them or 75 percent of them a lot of them are, they don't have a specific purpose that you didn't buy this it's the only reason you own this gun is because you go to matches on the weekend or you go hunting with this lever gun or whatever it is this bolt action gun you might not do any of those things what are you doing with those firearms yeah so what i'm saying is it's not a crime to have a firearm that is good for really good for hunting or uh, skeet shooting or USPSA or something, but you don't do any of those things. You're not necessarily a slacker. <laughs> you just like the firearm, okay? And uh, like this thing, I wouldn't mind having one of these. I, I really wouldn't. I uh, don't know that I'll buy one, but I, I like it. And uh, it, it's fun to shoot and, and I don't plan to go. I, I really kind of burned out. I, I did the USPSA thing, IDPA and, and all that, GSSF, all those different uh, acronyms, those uh, competitions uh, for a few years pretty in, intensely. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have a, a drive to go back and do it again. But I like the firearms. They're good for that because they shoot well. And uh, that's kind of important. And I, I, I feel remiss. I feel very, very guilty. I've not found any major negatives with this firearm. There's got to be some. Uh, I think when we first got it, uh, it, it took a little bit for it to grow on me because I thought, oh, wow, what is all that? That's a little much, isn't it? And, and it, that may hit you that same way, you know, with all the serrations and the cutouts and, you know, it's a little, little crazy looking maybe to you, or it might just be extra cool. And so, I don't know. I think uh the the function of it is is so uh smooth and everything that you know so be it this is what it is it's a competition more or less competition pistol so i'm gonna live with that you can grab it easily the serrations are, are wonderful i do like serrations that give you a lot of friction that's one of my criticisms as you know although i prefer to use them back here i think since it has a plate and a lot of people are going to put an optic on it which can kind of be in the way i guess in grabbing it uh, that these become a little more important up here and they really bite which is great you know so so anyway it, it looks a little odd with all that but uh, I don't know I, I, I can't uh, I can't dream up or make up any major negatives I'm, I'm sorry I wish I could I, I just kind of like the pistol shoots great shoots great feels good has great trigger great sights and if you miss with it guess whose fault it is it's yours just like it's mine if I miss. So anyway, the Canic Rival, this is the one that's called the Dark Side. I have no idea why, but uh, that's what it is. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here, also uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, 
the real Hickok 45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok 45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.